Yeah, well, Vincent, uh, he, he just turned 19, he was 18. He got his license when he was 17. Um, he did four professional races in NHRA, and um, we're hoping for next year. We're hoping maybe possibly the Rookie of the Year, and who knows what else. You know, I'd like to know, John, are you funding your son in this NHRA uh, Pro Stock deal, or does he have a sponsor or anything? Well, right now, presently, he, uh, he, he actually got himself a deal. He's going to drive the Mountain View Tire Car out of California, uh, the Mintos family, Nick and Irene, and their uh, three boys. Um, uh, they, they called me a few weeks ago, and they asked me if uh, I'd be interested in allowing Vincent to drive their race car, and I'm uh, on it. Uh, we're on it and the, the answer to that was yes so that's that's pretty amazing I mean your, your son's a teenager and he's already qualified for some NHRA events I mean seems like they're getting younger and younger every year um, how do you feel about the speeds and everything like that and uh, your son's experience you think he's gonna he's got what it takes to be a champion or what like his dad um, he's a seat of the pants driver he's got the the, the, the tools to, to do good. Um, I don't think in, in drag racing or or in any kind of motorsports, uh, I don't think you could actually be taught how to drive. You either got it or you don't. Um, I think Vincent has it. You know, he, he's raced uh, motocross, dirt bikes, quads, snowmobiles. You know, I've had him on everything with a motor behind it, you know, and He's always done well, and he drives the race car real well. He, he's a natural. I, I think he's really going to turn some heads next year and really surprise people. Jimmy, that was the East Coast version, and now we're here on the West Coast. We're with Nick Mitzos and Pro Stock West Coast. Now, Nick, this is 2011 is going to be your third year in Pro Stock, and you got a few changes, driver changes, etc. You want to share some of that with us? Well, we're really excited. Uh, our whole team is excited to get uh, Vincent Nobile into our seat. I've known John now for about 12, 13 years. Uh, when we go out to Englishtown, we stay over his house. We uh, make a, a four-day four affair out of it. Uh, I've known Vincent, of course, since he's been about seven years old. So I've seen him grow up, grow up to be a young man. Um, I've seen some of, uh, you know, John's always plugging me, you know, how great Vincent is, how great Vincent is. So uh, he finally showed me some of his time slips. I says, oh, Vincent is really good. So I was really excited when uh, we decided to pull the plug and uh, put Vincent into the car. I expect uh, good things, great things. I, I understand also that Vincent will make mistakes. He's brand new at this, and that's fine. But I also know that when he's going up to the line, uh, you know, the, the other guy next to him has got to be uh, prepared. So. You know, there's something about a, a new driver, a young driver with that kind of enthusiasm. And I know that a lot of times that spills right over into the whole team. Everybody gets pumped up and excited. And uh, that's gonna, uh, everybody's going to be looking forward to watching this. Of course, everybody knows John from the, even from the old IHRA Pro Stock days. And, of course, he's got a Ford that he's running in Pro Stock, too. And, Along with your Mopar, it's uh, right, it's right. going to be a really exciting season. Right. Yeah, I know John's going to park his Ford while uh, while his son is in our car. John's going to help us with the wrenching, as will Kenny. Um, so it's going to be a lot of excitement underneath the uh, the canopy in our pit. Uh, we also have a couple of guys of our own that will uh, you know will have plenty of help. Um, so again, you know, we'll have the technical support. We'll have the uh, the driver. And, uh, you know, I'd like to see Vincent get Rookie of the Year. I definitely want to be in the top ten. And let, we'll go from there. You know, I told John that uh, if, if, in fact, we really do well, that we would consider, you know, putting more and more uh, uh, events on our list. So we, typically we run 15 events out of 23, 22 this year. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I'm not against running more. And the full field if uh, if need be if we're in the hunt well it's great chatting with you it's great having a chance to chat with you we're looking forward to Pomona and um, you you have a great holiday too thank you and you guys do also okay thanks Appreciate a lot it. Nick